Hi, I'm Jocelyn. I'm Asana. Hi, I'm Samia. And we built some music, music visualizer. <laughs> so first, the sound goes through the microphone, and the signal goes through a bandpass filter and an amplifier, and then this, that signal goes into the, the analog to digital converter on the PIC32 and then we convert the audio signal from time domain into frequency domain using a fast Fourier transform and display the result of the FFT on the LED matrix. So our fast Fourier transform, um, we used 64 samples and that meant we had 32 frequency bins and that mapped very nicely to our LED screen as we have 32 columns. Um, also the FFT computes the log amplitude of each frequency bin. Um, and as we have 16 rows, we chose 16 different colors for those rows and arranged them in rainbow order for nice visual effects. And so now we'll demo it for you. Why don't you speak into the microphone just for a moment? Count, count into the microphone. Okay, sure. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three. Okay. And it picked me up over here saying, okay. All right, okay. So what are you going to test? So we will demo, um, and we'll be playing a rendition of Jingle Bells for you all. And this is a non-copyrighted version of yes, Jingle Bells. Okay. Okay. Something froze. Okay. <laughs> okay, just take it offline and restart it. It's fine. So in the meantime, let me let me speak into this while while that's getting buffered up or try some impulse sounds. I'll try an impulse sound. Boop. So the table is biased towards low frequencies. Okay, you buffered up now? Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so most of the energy is, is uh, there's very little energy at high frequency, which means that you've captured all of the signal. And uh, the responsiveness is quite good. You, you, you did a little bit of peak holding on the, on the, on the display, right? You, it, it, it has a little bit of low pass on the, on the falling phase. Yes, yeah, so if, if the next sample, if the, frequent, if the amplitude of the frequency in a specific bin is lower than the one previous, um, we decay it a bit. So when the frequencies drop, um, again, adding to visual effect, it's more pleasing to the eye. Instead of it very quickly changing and dropping to that lower frequency, it kind of decays a bit. But on the rising phase, it comes up quickly. So you get good transients. Okay. And I think it's interesting to play... I guess music that has a lot of different instruments in it um, because then the display is much more dynamic and it's you know, fun to watch. And then you could kind of keep track of where, let's say like the main melody, where those frequencies are hitting because you'll see mm -hmm. those be most prominent. Mm -hmm. and, and your motivation for doing this was what? Part, part of it was audio, audio to visual conversion for, for, for being able to, for hearing impaired. But what else was there? Um, I think in general we all enjoy music. I think it's a universal thing that everyone, you know, likes listening to. Yeah, and you, you were saying you'd like to hang one of these on your wall. Yes, exactly. It'd be fun to you know, put this up and display it kind of like a piece of art. I agree. I, to I, I would totally do that too. All right, thank you.